All right, December 8th, and last weekend here at Crowder's Mountain State Park, it was unseasonably warm at about 70 degrees. This weekend, it's unseasonably cold and rainy. We're actually supposed to get about six inches of snow tomorrow. Which today, it's about 35, 40 degrees, um, and we've got some rain, but I've still got to get some miles in. So today, we're going to talk about motivation and getting out there on days you really don't want to. <sighs> got to get our miles in, so let's get on it. That easy. We are at the split again. You guys remember this from last weekend? That's gonna take us over the ridgeline trail, which we're gonna get to in a bit. But first, we gotta go tackle this first summit. Um, it's starting to snow, which is kind of cool. Um, do wish I had gloves a little bit, but overall, feeling pretty good. 35 degree weather is one of my least favorite to dress for because feels like you're gonna be hot or you're gonna be cold. I'd rather not sweat, eventually freeze. Could be a dangerous issue. Keeping it a little cool today. Uh, so we're actually at the summit right now and we're actually gonna go down a little bit uh, so I can get you over there to that first good view. Figure we come all the way up here, we might as well get a good view, right? is the top of peak number one. We're gonna work our way back up to the summit a little bit and then get over that ridgeline trail and get uh, further than we did last weekend. That's the goal today. I've got more time. The weather's worse, but I've got more time. And I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't get to that other mountain the other time. Earlier, I talked about motivation. And this is not my story. This was explained to me once and it really resonated. So I wanna share it with you guys. It's a circle to success, right? and each one of these three things leads in to the other one. Number one on that circle is seeing. What you see is gonna impact your worldview, the kind of people you watch, the kind of things that those people do. Uh, all that is gonna impact your worldview and moving into the next part of the segment. So when you watch people on Instagram that only show you know, success after success after success, that's gonna impact your worldview. I like following people who show failures because that tells me that, you know, the reality of the situation. So, part number one to this circle is seeing. Rock Top Trail to Visitor Center is about a mile, mile and a half, two miles that way. Uh, that's where we came from, that's where we were. This is a really awesome trail and I love running it, but the problem is, as you can probably see, it's extremely rocky. So there's doing a lot of this, it's doing a lot of walking, especially with all these leaves on the ground where you can't really see all the rocks. Uh, this is where I stopped last week. Part two of the circle is do. So what you see affects what you do. If you see people, you know, getting their workouts in and really just doing the work, that's more likely what you are to do then that's gonna lead you to want to do those things, which is gonna lead you to get to those results yourself. Not super complicated. What you see is gonna affect what you do. Gonna run for a little bit more. We'll get on to number three. I was getting to the point where I was wondering if we were gonna get some elevation, but uh, I found it. I need to get up there within about 30 minutes. Found some stairs. I don't know if that's a good thing or a tiring thing, but we've got stairs. I don't know if you can see in the video too well, but it's definitely raining. The clothing system right now is a uh, good temperature. We're right on the edge of freezing actually a lot of kind of sleet rain mix right now merino wool one layer it's working well i'm sweating but not too bad definitely better than if i were wearing my jacket 
Got that nice little view chatted with one other guy. I found someone else crazy enough to get out here. It's always awesome to find people who are willing to get out here in this weather. But this is our radio antenna right here. We're just gonna get to the, the very top just because it doesn't count if you don't get the top. I've got an hour and a half to get back, which I think is gonna be cutting it a little close. Cutting it a little close, but I think we're gonna be okay. That's number three. You see things, you do things, and then what you do affects what you get. I'll tell you, before I did my first triathlon or my first running race or anything, I was always, I always thought it was crazy. It was like that next step. I was like, I don't know how those people do that. Um, but the reality is, I look at what they actually do and I get results. You know, I am a completely normal person. What I've gotten has now started to affect what I've seen. I don't look at people like those ultra rock star top of the, uh, sport people as superhuman anymore. You know, the vast majority of it comes down to work done. What you see other people do affects what you do. That affects the results you get. I want to get off this mountain before it gets dark. It's actually snowing a little bit. Uh, it's still kind of a sleety mix, but I don't want that cold to move in. So I'm going to get down this mountain. I've got about an hour and a half to do about six miles or so of trail running, which we should be okay. I think this falls under the category of a uh, type two fun, you know? It's hard to get off the couch. It's really hard to get off the couch. And maybe it's hard to get out of your car. And it's maybe not always fun during. But once you get through it, and you look back on it, and you think about what you did, that's when you get to enjoy it. Ended at just about 10.2 miles for three hours and 10 minutes with about 1,800 feet of gain. Um, so we're calling that good. It's getting the rain a little bit heavier out now. My hands are really, really cold. Uh, so in the car, head home, get some food, uh, and wrap this baby up.